Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic that is select star. Okay, so far we have discussed about how to create a table by using JDBC program and how to insert the data, insert data into table by using JDBC, JDBC program. Inserting, we had seen the program of inserting a single row and the multiple rows also. So this is what we had discussed. So for creating and inserting, there is no return type. So there is no return type. We are simply using that. Uh, so there is no return type. Why there is no return type? So creating is table. That's it. We are trying to create the table. And for insert data, we are trying to insert the data. We are entering, in, uh, entering some information. We are not retrieving. Okay. Only for the select command, there is a return type. So for creating a table, we had used the command like execute. Execute is a command used uh, use for the create table. For insert data, what command we had used in? We had used the execute update method. Execute update method. So for creating table, we had called the method execute. And for insert data, we had used the execute update. So now let's, the about two tasks are completed now. Now let's try to work on the third task. That is select star from student. So we need to execute this query. So if you want to execute this query, the select star from student, what you require? So for executing this, uh, we require DQL query. We require DQL query. Okay. So this DQL query uh, return type is, the return type of DQL query is result set. Okay, so result set is the uh, written type of the DQL query. It's simple thing. So far, whatever the uh, loading the drivers, establishing the connection, everything is the same. After that, we have to write one statement. What is that statement? Result set RS is equal to the statement dot execute query. The method that we are used to uh, execute the select statement, we have to call the method execute query. Execute for create table, inserting execute update and for selecting execute query, select whatever the command you want to write here, you can write here. So this is a statement that we need to include in the program. It's all the thing is established. Everything is the same. Establishing, uh, loading the drivers, connection establishment, everything is the same. Simply we need to insert this statement. So first of all, let's see what is this result set. I said result set. Okay. It is used for retrieving the data from the data. Database. So result set. Let me write this. What is this result set? A result set, okay, is an object. Actually, it is an object that encapsulate, encapsulates set of rows, encapsulate a set of rows from database. It is trying to encapsulate a set of rows from database. It is just uh, encapsulating. It is not a... Uh, uh, trying to execute it is not showing uh, uh, your information on the screen it is just trying to a result set is an, it is just an object that encapsulate a set of rows from database a result set is generated based on it is generated it is generated based on sql query only it is generated based on SQL query. Whenever the result set is generated, then result set pointer or a cursor points to before first record. So one thing you have to do. So just open the command prompt. So in the command prompt, what you're going to do is call the Java P tool. Java P. Okay. So write the package name Java sub package SQL. The class name is the result set. So try to enter this. So whenever you have entered this uh, on the command prompt, you will get so many methods, so many methods and the constructors you can up, uh, you can see. So I am just taking only two uh, two construct uh, two methods because whatever the program I want to work on, uh, these two methods are useful. 
So based on user's requirement, you can select the method. Okay, you no need to by heart and remember all these type of methods because a huge of uh, methods will be present in Java. So whatever the method you want, you just suppose if you want to call the class result set. Okay, what are the methods that are present in the result set? You just type the Java P tool package name Java dot SQL dot result set. Then you can uh, select whatever the uh, method you want. So I am taking public abstract boolean. Next, it is throwing an ex exception. Throws what exception? SQL exception. So what is the use of this? Why I am calling this next throw? Next because it returns true and moves the cursor to the next record file. Suppose if something is there in the record, then it, it re returns true. Okay, a data is present. So the cursor will move to the next. That's why I'm calling this because I want to uh, retrieve the data from the database. So from where to where? So starts with the cursor and it is moving, to, uh, returns true. Okay, the data is there. So taking, you can take the data. So it sends a signals and move, move the cursor to the next. So that is the use of this next method. Okay, let me write it. It returns true and moves the, and moves the cursor to next record file to next record file simply the method itself is saying next so it moves the cursor to the next record file okay so if the record is present only if record is present if record is present so if record is present then only it returns true otherwise it returns the false so i'll take one more uh, uh, some more methods public abstract so I am taking a string, string class get string because if you want to get the string data, so suppose the name is there and the column uh, field name is uh, field column name is the name. Okay, so that means it is a string. Okay, if you want to retrieve the data relating to the string, you have to call the method get string. Okay, and it throws a, a, a SQL exception. SQL exception okay and suppose if I want to get the data of int okay so int so written type is a string it's a small letter written type is a string and here the written type is a int what type of int get int integer so if you want to get the data like IDE and the phone number or the MO uh, so uh, IDE phone number so for that you required integer and another method, if you want to retrieve the data relating to the float, get float int. So the get float is nothing but if you want to retrieve the average, the salary, everything. So that is uh, relate, uh, then you can call this method get float. So these above, whatever these three methods, these methods use it to get the result set. It is used to get result set. It is used to get the result set. So what is the result set? I said it is an object that encapsulate a set of rows from database. So whatever it is encapsulated that has to be retrieved by using these methods get string, get in and get flow. So I'll tell you with a simple example. I'll tell you with a simple example. My, our main task is our main task is Java. It's a Java application. Okay. So and here the Oracle database is there. Oracle database. So you are sending SQL request. So by using by using a Java application, you are sending an SQL request. So it has to give the SQL response. So when it, it will give the SQL response, okay, it goes to the Oracle database. In the Oracle database, a table is created with role number, name, and the marks. Okay, so this is a student table. This is a student table. Row number 1, 2, 3, let's the names are A, A, B, B, C, C and the marks 98, 35 and 46, something like, okay? Now, so whenever you have created a table, a result set. So here, the roll number, name and the marks, okay? 1, 1, 2, 3. B, C, C, 
98, 35, 46. Okay. So, this is, this is a result set. Result set encapsulate the database. Okay. Encapsulates a set of rows from database. It is trying to encapsulate a set of rows from database. So, what is the command I had used? Result set. Result set rs is equal to execute query. Execute query. And here we are writing a command select star from student. Right. This is a command. This is a command. Right. So, Whenever you have written this command, so result set address is going to be stored. RS. RS. It's a result set. Okay. And coming to here, the column numbers are 1, 2, 3. It's not an index. It's a column numbers. If you want to retrieve a particular column, you have to mention column 2, column 3, column 1. Also, this is a column number, not name. Column number. Okay. And these are column names column names you can also access by using the column names and whatever this is there this is about result set metadata if you want to access each and every column you have to call the result set metadata i'll tell you what is this result set metadata so the result set what it is doing okay so whenever we have called the next method it returns true okay data is present it returns true and the cursor will move to the next record okay whenever it returns true the cursor will move to the next record so whenever it returns true cursor will move the next record but next there is no record so returns false that's it okay so this is our main task so what is this metadata metadata means a data about data First of all, metadata means, it means, it means data about data. Then what about the result set data? Result set metadata. I said we are use the, we will use the result set metadata also. It means data about result set. It means data about result set. So, result set itself, it's a table. So, it is going to be explained about each and every column data about the result set. So, a database metadata, it means data about the database. So, we will call a method like public abstract. We will use this result set metadata get metadata. Okay, get metadata, we have just a function, a method, throws SQL exception. So, we will see. So, for uh, whenever you want to call this method, the Java P, uh, Java dot SQL dot result set metadata, you can see a number of methods. So, in that we are trying to use only the get column count. If you want to count the get column count, which returns the number of columns and get column name, get column name. So these methods are present in result set metadata, result set metadata only. So that's why we, we will call this class also the result set metadata, get count, get column name. Okay. So and it, this get column name returns the column name at specified column number. So by using all these methods, we will write one program, a program to retrieve data from database. So, what is the program? Program to retrieve data from database. So, this program I will explain in on IDE. Okay. So, that you can see in the next video. Thank you.